This month, we're showcasing the Bayswater Junction, which is approximately eight kilometers from the Forestfield end. So, Phil, can you please tell us some of the significant difficulties and challenges that we face on a daily basis here at Bayswater? Yeah, some of the difficulties and differences from other sites uh, on the project is obviously the live Midland line. Um, obviously, with people planting it into action, craneage and things like that, um, that's quite a challenge to work with a live rail um, running right next to the site. I can see in the background we're doing a concrete park. Can you please tell us what we're actually doing down there? Yeah, um, in the dive structure we've got about 17 base labs. So we've split the base lab up into 17 pores. Um, and the pore going on in the background there is pore number 10 out of all of them. So we've got seven base lab pores left. Now we've moved down to the portal end of the Bayswater Junction. Will, can you please give us an explanation of what's happening here behind us? Yeah, so this is where the TBMs will make their final breakthrough on the project. So um, this is where the dive structure ends and the tunnels basically start behind me. Um, you can also see behind me um, the remains of the temporary struts um, that all has to be removed um, before the TBMs obviously break through that wall behind us. So Will, can you please tell us the whereabouts on, on both Grace and Sandy? Yeah, after a, a quick Pit stop, Grace is back up and running and about 600 metres out of Redcliffe Station, uh, which is about two kilometres from, from Bayswater, so that's about 2.6 kilometres uh, from here. Uh, Sandy is uh, not far behind her, uh, very close to uh, Airport West emergency egress shaft. So Will, we've moved down now closer to the action where we can see the guys are hard at work in the background. Can you give us some details or information on what the guys are actually doing? Yeah, the concreters are, are behind us there pouring a base slab, which is about 350 cubic metres. Um, and just in front of them, the steel fixers are fixing about another uh, 50 tonne of steel for the next base slab. So when do you anticipate that these base slabs will be done? So there's about seven pours left, so all the base slabs should be done before the end of May. Well, thank you very much for your time today answering the questions. Thank you guys for joining us here at the Bayswater Junction, and we see you in a new location next month.